Good evening, I'm Ken Bastida. Dana is off tonight. He was murdered and then set on fire while celebrating his birthday. Okay, as promised, because I don't want to mat you guys, taking a look at the Michelada mix from Zing Zang as a back-to-back -back with the uh, one from Lava. Now again, as a recap, if you missed it, I'd, I did not really like the one from uh, Lava. I thought it had a very heavy... Uh, vinegar flavor and I am not a fan of vinegar so if you say to yourself I'd like to get a big plate of french fries and pour vinegar all over them that might be the uh, Michelada mix for you um, I go back to what I originally said I I'd, I'd like using the lava as my beer additive now this one authentic just add beer um, they say uh, one to three, so. One part, then they say to use a, a high quality Mexican or American beer, and of course I am doing that. I was gonna get grain belt, but couldn't get grain belt in the 30 pack. Don't judge. Just, I was just trying to get the best bang for the buck, okay? I was just being a good shopper. Okay, and uh, CGI. Um, see, you know why I don't like CGI? CGI can't give you a blowjob. <laughs> There goes half the sponsors. Okay, so, um, it smells proper. Cheers. Uh, it's good. Let's see. We'll get Sharky out of the woods first. Oh. Sharky didn't shoot this. Uh, he says, wow, wow, you're from Holland? This might be a long club. And he said, it wasn't, sad face. Then he says, uh, well, ScrewTube just ate another comment. Yes, enjoyed Alice when I was over there. Uh, uh, let's see if this one uh, makes it. Uh, that one did make it. And uh, when I leave on Sunday for Fairmont, Minnesota, to go hang around with, uh, work for, Jeremy and uh, Caitlin, I am definitely bringing Alice with me. After all... The end of the world is on Monday. Don't forget, I have seen everything. We have everything from uh, terrorist attacks all the way up the solar eclipse map. I have seen that the CERN uh, collector, the big uh, atom spinner, is going to be uh, run up to full power on that day. Supposedly, if you read scripture, there's a church on site with uh, uh, biblical references to the end of days and the opening, opening of a hole allowing evil to enter our realm. CERN's uh, symbol is uh, 666 upside down or something. I don't know. I haven't gone to look. I've heard that one many a times. So... I, I might be at J Jeremy and Caitlin's 
for the end of the world. And if that's the case, I'm going to be able to report back just how nice Jeremy's ass is. 20 bucks won't even be 20 bucks. It's like, baby, just go ahead and leave those suspenders on the floor. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah, um, yeah, Alice, Alice will be going with me alongside my, uh, my carry and, uh, extra ammunition for that. Uh... Alice also has the FN57 in it, which means if I need to dual wield something that will go through bullet through bulletproof vests, I will be all set. Uh, just so you know, um, uh, tonight being uh, what? For what? Uh, for the happy birthday wishes. Jesus. Like, you know that text was like a whole like two minutes ago. Uh, six minutes ago. Um, yeah. So uh, tonight, Dave and, uh, David and Bunky are, are, uh, taking, uh, are taking me out to dinner. I, I have been allowed to bring Chris, Christine with. She's, she's originally like, well, I don't know when I'm going to be done. You know, I don't want to hold you guys up. You can, you, uh, you can just drive yourself up to the uh, restaurant. Even Dave's like on. Why would he do that? How am I supposed to be able to enjoy myself uh, with uh, some adult beverages at the uh, restaurant? Because Dave always is like, just get yourself another one. I'm good. Get, he'll take another one. Make get the 22 ouncer, and I'm gonna drive myself to the restaurant. David's like, we're just gonna meet at six. You can take your happy ass home and pick up your husband, and then, and then uh, tomorrow I am uh, canceling uh, locked and loaded. Uh, the primary reason was uh, Samantha and Gage are taking me out. Saying so they can't take me out for dinner tonight. They're taking me out for dinner tomorrow, and I don't want to rush. Fa I'm, I know Locked and Loaded is a, a gigantic majority, at least the in chat and uh, crew, is people I consider more family than family. But Samantha, Gage, and Christine are definitely slightly nudging a few of you out. So, uh, no locked and loaded tomorrow. And uh, John is getting his ass handed to him in Maine right now. So, he's been running on a generator since 5.30 this morning. Lord knows what tomorrow even holds for him. So, just as easy to say, just going to have to... It's going to cancel this one. Got some uh, packages in, but oh yeah, that's right. I was going to get through get through Sharky. Um, Sharky says the Colt 9mm Dave uh, brought is nice. Then Sharky says SH Classic Outro made it just fine. So first in is Heaven and Hell Spirits. Not first, maybe second. How the heck is Captain and Matt? Well, if you are, sir, if you're not first, then somebody else got their shit deleted. Because you are first on this map. Jolson says, I-6. <coughs> oh, shit. Sorry. I-6. So, Samantha had her eye, eye appointment this morning. Then I took her to the DMV, and I'm glad I took her to the DMV because I had to pretty much fill out all the shit because they dilated her eyes to the point where she's like, wait a second, I'm going to have to take an eye exam? And the girl goes, uh-huh. I, I don't know if she, I'm sure she would have been this nice to anybody, but I think it was one of the ones that Christine gets along with. And she goes, honey, just read. I mean, she didn't even say get them right. She just said, just read any row. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, where's the blinking? Yeah, both sides. Yep, you pass. Let's take the pictures. 
First in, a card from my godmother, my Auntie Connie. The greatest auntie on the planet. Oh, God, and you know she is. She hand makes all of her cards, too. She, she is my mother's sister. And there is the card. I'm going to have to send her some uh, media files for uh, ARs, Evil Black Rifles. Hope this card makes you smile. Best wishes always. Uncle Gary and Aunt Connie. Yes, that card did make me smile. As a matter of fact, she, uh, she texted me to say happy, happy Easter. So I know she's somewhere here. Really? I talked to that many of you guys since Easter? We got Pete and Alvin. Maura, as in Mrs. Mrs. the Mrs. of the Nihappians. She's good shit. Uh, Salty, Poco, Agent Chaos, McCline, Jolson, Miguel, Gonzala, Gonzalez Firearms, Jeremy, um, Miles, wish me a happy birthday this morning, Rich Huff, Chris Aloma Company, the Locked and Loaded crew, and Mike next door. But sorry, back to my aunt. Thank you for the birthday card, and yes, it did make me smile. Okay, next. This is a... Uh, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't go into my email to see if I got notified or not, but this should be a birthday present to myself. I spent a total of $9 out of my pocket. Genuine Subaru Parts. Style and shit, man. I'm telling you, I know how to roll. And there it is. The tow hook cover for a 2011 Subaru Impreza. And Sam goes, um, why don't we pull the bumper off? It's got it's got a, a crack on that side, which is probably when this went missing. And she has a plastic welder. I said, you got that thing that looks like a staple gun? Oh. She goes, yeah, it'd be easier just to, easier just to take the front bumper cover off. Well, how long does that take? Oh, about five minutes. I'm like, oh yeah, that probably would be easier. That way she can. Uh, she can get behind it. Okay. This will probably be a notification to through night that I did the unboxing over here with you guys. This should be through night's new tactical pen. chain and an ink refill and a chain and an ink refill so I don't know if that means there's no refill in it oh it's because they sent me uh, two separate pens well that's nice of them and there's already a uh, ink cartridge uh, in them Okay, tactical pen. TN, through night. 
So this this would be another one of those J Dog things where you could, you could I'd probably put one of these on the Subaru keychain. So you just got the uh, the little little slider here forward and to the lock position. I've already got oh I'm oh a little wad of a uh, little wad of something on the end to uh, keep the uh, roller ball uh, clean and from drying out. Either that or I just rip the roller ball out of it. Works good. I'm, uh, I am not going to use the uh, provided chain. I will uh, do up some uh, paracord. Matter of fact, I have some daintier stuff than I've been using for the knives. And then to close it, I want to say these are, uh, I'll, I'll put a link if you're interested, but they, they were not much. I, I, I want to say, let's test Eric's memory. Let's, uh, put this over here for a second. I want to say they're nine dollars each. Um. Through night, a uh, mini bolt action uh, pen, uh, EDC pen, smooth writing, ideal for professional professionals and gifts, replaceable black ink pens for office, nine dollars and ninety nine. So whoa, 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 my girl, we are not covering up my girl. Okay, there you go, nine dollars and ninety nine cents. If I ordered it right now, it'd be here on Saturday. Hmm. Okay. Mike says cheers. Cheers, Mike. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what she's looking for, but I'd love to help her find it. So yeah, they uh, they uh, they sent over the gray and the green. Oh, sorry, V twin. Oh, um, Subaru. This is complicated. Okay, grow up. Hey, Wade, I officially made it to three. It's like. Oh, I'm sorry. This might be a sponsored thing. I, I apologize. That is so, that is so childish. Yeah, that one's got a, it's got a little bit of stuff on the end of it too. Boom. Bolt action. I wonder if I can get mounts to put the U.S. optics on here. Those are cool. Like I said, I, I, uh, I'd rather do. I mean, there is a plus to this. There is a plus to this. Uh, this is going to have a lot, lot lower um, uh, tinsel strength to it. So, uh, see these 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 people, and I'm not I'm not dissing them. I'm not I'm not knocking on them. They're using more brains than I ever use. But um, a lot of people don't recommend paracord around your neck because it can now be used as a weapon. So the, the neck course, of course, while you're being strangled with the uh, paracord for your own neck knife, you can pull the knife out and go like this. Actually, the first thing I'd do is I'd, I'd stick it in his dinky hole. Then I would splice it. But yeah, so 
each one, uh, each of uh, evidently your pet orders is going to come with a necklace and a spare ink cartridge. So I guess if I don't do a video on that tomorrow, I got a lot of housekeeping to take care of tomorrow because uh, um, I have tomorrow and Saturday. And then Sunday morning I'm probably going to get up and hop in the car and head south. It's like, uh, what is it, uh, I think Jeremy does it in four and a half hours, but um, that's with a full afterburner. I think it's probably more like a five and a half hour drive, but either way, I got the, I got to get the car packed, packed up. Um, I got to make sure I have my, uh, my pile of, uh, firearms and ammunition with me. And, um, I'm only taking what may be needed for a defensive situation. And of course, Alice. Alice, I think, has five mags with her now, plus the the D60. I'll just uh, grab a few more uh, few more uh, mags and, and throw it in with her. And uh, can't remember if I have a med kit already out in the car or not. Otherwise, I'm looking at one on the uh, backpack rig uh, for the uh, rifle which I just don't I just I, I no longer really feel good about that the only way that that setup works is if I'm walking out to my vehicle with the firearm and then put it in there I I personally have not had a vehicle broken into we had the Honda uh, somebody got into it somehow and some, you know, I've been asked, well, maybe Christine just forgot to lock it. It's, it has auto lock. The only way the car can be left unlocked is if the key fob is left in it. Otherwise, it beeps once as you get about four feet away. And then it beeps twice to let you know that it has automatically locked when you get to like six feet away. And seeing as how my keys were laying by the door and Christine's keys were in um, her winter jacket, the car was not left open. But yet, somehow, somebody got into it. There was no damage. There was no damage to the vehicle. And uh, all they took was um, uh, some, a handful of change. And uh, trying to think of what else they took. I mean... A nice med kit, still in the, I mean, they never opened up the back. They never, they never, they made a quick dive through the uh, front of the vehicle, and that was it. Joey's like, um, I'm all for canceling tomorrow. That way I don't have to tell you I'm not going to make it. Joey, I have something you can spank. Damn. Okay, um, nice, well, let's try going, there's where I was last time, let me try uh, going just a fuzz more.
got a little got a good a little bit of good good mixology going on right there. Did I read Rich's? Rich says cheers all. Cheers, Rich. Salty says happy naked birthday. Multi Gunman says it's not a birthday until somebody gets naked. And Miss 27 says I'm I'm assuming that's supposed to be saying naked suit on. Uh, oh yeah. Look at those. Love them. El Tenda says, hey. <clears throat> Poco says, dude, there's so, there's dude, there's everything wrong with that opening. Din says Matt will buck your uncle. Cheap old gun guy says, I've been here too long. I didn't notice anything wrong. It all seemed right. And Poco says to him, you're going to need a psychologist soon. <laughs> okay. This one is for uh, uh, Eric uh, E. Balmy. Everything spelt wrong. Uh, going to the man cave. And uh, we'll, we'll hold a moment when I tell you who this is from. I, I will tell you this. I'm no rocket scientist, but there is definitely at least one thing containing alcohol in the package because it sounds like a gurgling cod. Fire starter. Fire starter is good. Oh. Oh, oh my. Hang on. We got some Jala Ollies. <laughs> right now, Nihap is going like this. Sorry if that's a little noisier, but I have moved the ice maker to right here in the stack. We have a heater, a microwave, a uh, air fryer, broiler, uh, bake, toast, and then an ice maker right on top of it. The Jala Ollies, man, those are fucking awesome. The Truth Imperial IPA. And I was going to say, going off of the art, this has to be a flying dog. They all look somewhat, their art all looks like, like, like Matt drew this shit. 8.7%. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Six Point Brewery. Oof. You know what? I don't know if I've seen any of this up here lately. Uh, uh, Keyport used to have... A few varieties. The Piff. A hazy double IPA. This is from Six Point. They're, of course, they're in uh, Nyhap's Neck of the Woods, Brooklyn, New York. And uh, I will be uh, shocked if this one isn't at least 8%. 8.6%. Beer is culture. Have not had. I have not had two of the three so far. Somehow I'm getting the feeling that between him and J-Dog, they're just going to keep sending me these radios until I fucking learn them inside out. Somewhere, I have a book. I bought, or, did you send me the book? I have the book. You sent me the book. And it was 
I ended up buying and having one sent to John Solar, but I uh, I need to get off my ass and read it. Um, I did start reading Chariots of the Gods. I, uh, I I had made it through, and it was pretty long, the forward. But as of uh, now, a after today, sitting and waiting for Samantha, not nearly as long as Miles' surgery, but I am uh, halfway through Chapter 2 so far. Oh, oh. I do not have a radio um, uh, permit or license. Uh, these are, they, they may be questionable. I don't think you have to have, either way, I, I, I don't. But um, I, uh, I, I need to get a J Dog. Need to, like, like, send me a, you need to send me, like, a freaking. Uh, no buzz. Oh, maybe you've done stuff to this one already. I guess I'll have to ask. Uh, but such a such a smart thing to have, at least when you're in close proximity. I mean, I re nice. I realize I'm not gonna be able to talk to Nyhap or Joey or uh, Jerry. Well, Jerry's in the other direction now. Um, thank thank you. Piper of Clayer Bay. This is some good stuff. Those are some good... Okay. Um. Nothing like, uh, nothing like having reinforcements called in. Hey, I've been holding back on this one. <laughs> Not saying that I still won't hold back, but there's less reason to. You know, and I have not gone and, uh, done up any of the research on this. All I can tell you is my palate says, mm. Now, if you were to just go off of nothing but the smell, it actually has a, um, almost a, not, not to make it sound terrible, but it almost has a, a rubbing alcohol, like, uh, scent to it, like, kind of gives that, your nose a little tickle. So if you were to base nothing on but smelling things and going, I'll pass on that one, yeah, you are missing out on this particular <clears throat> scotch. Mm. Distinct. 
distilled at uh, 10 inch distillery, aged for 12 years, non chill filtered, uh, single cask. Uh, These are both uh, distilled uh, 18 uh, 3 of 2009. It is 54.9%. Uh, You're holding the first in the storytelling series of cask strength single cask malt whiskeys from an independent bottler, Fable. With each series, we explore a little-known myth. Uh, we like to think of our whiskeys in their truest form, combined with uh, uh, mythical stories are far from ordinary. Uh, they, they call this one uh, Chapter 2. So, they're both, uh, they're both the same thing. So... I got uh, I got one thing to enjoy and two things to review because I boot I believe I did uh, highlight uh, yet on this channel. If not, I'd be more than happy to do it again. Do it again. Those just look bulletproof. I mean, I don't, I don't know if they're real or not, but they are impressive. Okay, so thank you, thank you, Nihap. Um, again, um, only you can put together a combination of shit to make someone scratch their head. Going, let's see, um, four four beers. One of them I know to be excellent. The other two, or other three, I'll find out. Um, one, one of my uh, favorite, uh, favorite non, yeah, non. She looks like a blow-up doll, doll with the fill nozzles. Uh, one of my favorite um, non, heavily peated uh, scotches. And a radio, which again I don't know if you uh, if you've done anything to this one or or not. Something's. Yeah, you know, if I would have read that frickin' book by now, I'd... And if you want to get in the radios, the uh, Baofangs are definitely your best bang for the buck. David J. fucking Brown. Bring it, Matt. Bring it hard. Poco said, do you really understand what you're asking for? Din says, he might get hard. Uh, you keep uh, talking like that. Poco, Matt better go check his drawers. Then Poco says, H, as in Hector, 5. H5 has already been called, and I got pegs in, in the ocean. H5 has already been called as a hit on a sunk ship. Poco says, my birthday is Saturday. Hey, Poco, what would you like? Would you like Matt to give you a reach around? It's like, ah, ow. Oh, yeah, ow, oh, oh, shit. Oh. It's like. Ah. 
Why? I bet you if this thing had an index of every time my lips have touched this glass, they'd there's like a thousand times right where the uh, the the chip is out here and never never land probably none. Okay. Poco. Uh, was B four a hit or a miss? Um, I never heard anybody call B4. Before what? I don't know if I'm giving a freebie away or someone got a comment, uh, chucked, uh, B, uh, okay, I guess it's a freebie. B4 is a miss. And there was not a peg there, so I did not read a comment for B4 before. 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 On B4. David J. Fucking Brown, Maddie Boy, I have only two words for you. Betty Ford. Smile Money says, I will add clinic. Uh, Wade says, agreed. Otherwise, he, uh, he'd want to know what year the f uh, Ford, the, or what model the Ford. And Sharky says, damn, beat me to it. To smile money. Uh, Wade, cook your pizza on a uh, uniglaze ceramic tile, 90% uh, in your oven, then finish it on the grill with an indirect heat. Matt sounds like Chris Tucker in the movie Friday. You ain't got no job. You ain't got nothing to do. You may as well do what I say. Bad says that's a great movie. Sharky said uh, wood-fired pizza oven or even a pizza insert for my uh, commando barbecue beats uh, that method hands down. But when you don't have access to a high temp pizza uh, style oven, your method works. And Bad says to Sharky, I want to build a wood-fired pizza oven. I have the location right off my patio for it. Just need the uh, level ground there and uh, prepare it. Uh, I'm seriously still in the experimentation stages. Um, I think in order to get the pizza oven to work right, it definitely needs to seal which I have a piece of steel plate that I can hang on the front of my homemade pizza oven to allow the uh, inner chamber uh, to uh, collect and, and, and keep the heat. Uh, the other thing is uh, when you want to make a pizza on, on a typical, typical oven like I have built, uh, one of your keys to success is you can't just go out there and light a fire and count to ten and bring the pizza out and put it in there. It's just like our ovens at uh, the the brick the brick ovens that that I had at my Domino's Pizza. Um, if if you got to the store. And something was wrong, and those ovens weren't running. Like, when we went home for the night, we didn't turn the ovens off. We turned the ovens down. Um, it, it, could take, it could take an hour and a half or more for a, one of those big brick oven pizzas to have that stone to the point where it was properly cooking a pizza. Because the problem is, if the stone... If the stone isn't at the right temperature, but the, the uh, heat escaping from around the stone and up inside, you'll end up with uh, a pizza that's uh, overcooked on the top and white on the bottom. So it's uh, I'm thinking that was some of my problem because uh, towards the end of the uh, summer, I used to go out and fire that oven up. And it would be it would be up and and stoked up 
for well over an hour before I ever put a pizza in it. So a combination of a longer warm-up time and the steel plate to cover the, uh, the entrance of it. The problem was is it's literally a piece of steel plate with a, a lip on it so that it kind of hangs onto the oven. What I need to do is I either need to drill, uh, drill some holes and mount a handle on it or get a piece of steel uh, even if it's just another piece of L channel to form um, some place to put my put my hand and then uh, put a handle because it doesn't have a handle. So right now I always have to use a couple of uh, of a couple of oven oven mitts or pads, but I'll eventually get it. I just know every single time I stoked it up, it would crack that stone. Um, Yes, my girl talking about. Um, so I need to replace the I need to replace the stone that the pizza sits on, and I need to replace it with something that can actually handle the job because this is now the second uh, different style piece of stone that I've had there, and. Dan says, take a sip, fire on E3, and desk pop. Uh, E3 is a, is a miss. Uh, seems how Colonel Mustard is actually a challenge now. Uh, he was not sitting there. Um, take a sip, I would be happy to. think you're getting one of those. <laughs> oh god, I'm starting to get a fucking boner. It just grabs some steam too. Multigun man, I'm late, so what, fuckers? Mr. 27 says 357 shooting the basement. And Sharky says, uh, so what? Great song. Uh, bad, Greens Captain. Matt's in the house. Can't win them all. Rich says, uh, yes, a good ribeye is one of the best steaks available. It's got the crack again. I'd like to get the crack. Oh, huh. Got a little, uh, we got a little offset, offset on the landing strip. It's like to test, test the pilots out or what? So my money, Matt, have you ever watched women's beach volleyball? I could buy season tickets. So my money, Matt, forearms are like Popeyes until he couldn't cook spinach on his grill. David J. Fucking Brown, no clinic, but intense inpatient long-term treatment. Smile money says, laugh out loud. So I I tried. I I ha this conversation didn't end afterwards. I was like, 
Matt, when good friends slash your family says, I want to take you out for your birthday, wherever you want to go. <laughs> I mean, like I said, uh, uh, grandmas on a scale of 1 to 10, I thought grandmas used to be like like for me now now granted i i've lived a real sheltered life some of the best restaurants i've ever personally been in were in the uh twin cities there's a uh, couple of places that uh um me and the uh the first fiance uh ever went to down there and you have to also keep in mind these are places we would have never ever even thought about going but considering she was making, let's see, 7, 14, 28, 12, 13, almost $14,000 a month. And I was making, I was making about four thousand dollars a month so you can see the difference and we both did the exact same thing actually I had to work harder my store my store she, she her store was this is what doesn't make any sense her store was doing so good she just had to show up um, her supervisor didn't give a shit if she she could have worked she could have worked three days a week. Friday from 4 until 7. Saturday from 4 into, until 7. And then literally show up to close the store, um, do up the paperwork, and call in your profit and loss statement to your supervisor on Sunday night. But uh, she was a serious uh, workaholic a power freak and uh, she she worked probably more hours than almost any Domino's manager that I knew at the time um, me on the other hand I could like for this was this was her on a Friday night while the store was making taking making and delivering over 300 I think the I think their hourly record was 350 pizzas ordered from five until six o'clock, and the typical was over 250 every single Friday and Saturday dinner rush, week in and week out. This was her on a Friday night in her store. Uh, you need to pick it up over there. Need to work on that hustle. Um, good job, good job, good job, good job, guys, good job, good job, you're doing great, keep it up. Me, this was me, thanks for calling Domino's Pizza this air, call me to take your order, sauce, two scoops of the, of the cheese, look like a blackjack dealer with the uh, pepperonis, and, th and then I tossed it, tossed it to the next guy standing on the make line. If it was uh, my store up in Duluth, after 8 o'clock, from the time I said, hello, you've reached Domino's Pizza, to the time I was patting the driver on the back saying, drive safe, I was the only person doing all of that. When you get to a store that's as big as, or as, as yeah, as big as, uh, as hers was, uh, you actually did less and less. It's just, I don't know, it's... That's great. Too bad she had a midlife crisis and went and worked for uh, uh, Potato World. I don't know. It's some place in the Mall of America that all or Spuds. It was called Spuds. All they, all they, all they sold evidently was potatoes. And I was like, "Yep, yeah, I'm, I'm leaving you. I uh, all I want is to uh, my biological clock is running." She was a fantastic woman. 
I'd, I'd, I'd never, I'd never say anything mean about her at all. The problem was, is she was eight year, eight years older than me, and my biological, my biological clock uh, hadn't even had the the screw mounted in the wall and been hung up yet. So, no, nah, I wasn't ready. She. I hope. I hope she found a good man. I hope she got knocked up. I hope she had the family that she wanted, and I hope everything went well. Um, unfortunately, not only to me, but even to her best friends in the area, she just, poof, disappeared. No, I did not have anything to do with that. Got to keep in mind that. I don't think there's ever such a thing as statute of limitations on that, so... But how you go from making that kind of money, just, just midlife crisis out, just. This kind of goes back to the, uh, the discussion that I wanted to have on um, Locked and Loaded, and I don't think we ever talked about it, even though I think the show has named it is those moments in your life where the road goes like this and you have your choice of going to that fork of the road or that fork of the road and the dis and the decisions yeah she's kind of a lights out girl but body wise I'm okay not to mention um I'm not really a uh, Mercedes fan but I'd you know for free I'd still take take it I'd, I'd take that i mean there's some serious like baby baby fuzz nair action going on right there you wouldn't even get a strike anywhere match to go off um that that those choices that you make it's like you know what if i would have said at jesus christ how old was i at the at the age of like 25, I'm ready to settle down. Let's do this, huh? Let's forget about all that shit with the motorcycles and the snowmobiles and having fun and hanging out with friends and doing questionable shit that we all do to get to where we are at this point in our life. And let's just, just, just have fucking kids and, and, and end your life. I know that sounds terrible, but... That's about how I felt at that moment in time. Um, you know, versus... I got on the fucking crazy train with that fucking hooker, Lisa. But, I'm... The things I always think about is I might not be the person that I am today... It wasn't for the fact that I was married to a psychotic fucking hooker who didn't even know what the... Even though she was a college a college uh, a graduate to be a teacher, uh, she had no idea what the words loyalty meant. Psychotic? Fuck, man. She wrote that book. And, and then, if it also wasn't for that psychotic hooker bitch, I would have uh, possibly never... What the fuck did I got on my face? Did I cut myself? I possibly would have uh, never met, uh, met Christine. Which, obviously, I won in that thing. Uh, Christine, some of you may obviously outright question um, how that worked out for her. KJ Dog. Mmm. Mm, yeah, 
it looks like good beer. I mean, how exactly is it that this woman has a uh, a color matched uh, bikini uh, for every um, every beer that she uh, takes a picture with? How much time do we have? Christine is going to be off work in one hour for from now. Cheapo gun guy, I have no idea what's awaiting me or what will happen when this all ends. For the moment, I know this. Uh, they, there are uh, sick people out there and they're asking about me. This would be Pete's girl from the Armory Channel. Bad? All those houses you can't afford will be filled with people here illegally paid for by our tax dollars. Yeah, sad but true. I mean, unless we have more people growing a set of fucking balls like DeSantis and simply saying that squatters... You're out of here. As it should be. I guess you just don't realize how completely turned around and fucked up our legal system is when you watch a woman who owns the house and proves it and she is put in cuffs and hauled off by the police because she changed the locks when fucking squatters moved in and took over the house. Bullshit. My, my only question would be 10 millimeter, 9 millimeter. You choose one or the other. If I'm going to be arrested, I'm going to be arrested for a fucking proper reason. Not because our legal system is a bunch of dicks and everything right is wrong and everything wrong is right bad try mixing the bamboo XO with a little coconut pineapple flavored water Talking about, talking about this one. Um, I don't know about. I have a. I can. Uh, I mean, that's not exactly water. Um, coconut pineapple flavored water. Okay. I am not even going to take any offense to that whole scenario right there. But, bad. Seeing so, um, I mean, you are pro level for, uh, oh, God, yes. There's the rest of the push right there. Mm -hmm. I I would normally say I can't wait, but I can't uh, I can't wait for again. Um, seems how I've already had the pleasure to take her for a ride three times since Christmas Christmas Eve. Never been able to say that before. This is just test and evaluation, okay? This isn't...
since it's sitting like right here Why don't you cover yourself in lighting lighter fluid and, and light yourself on fire? Okay, bad. Hang on, hang on, let me get back to you on that. Yeah, fuck that whole water part. I tell you, I tell you what this needs is that, of course does not have the pineapple aspect um, this may be a, a shot of each of those and then top it off or on on the rocks uh, one shot of each of those top it off on the rocks and then uh, um, top the rest of the glass off with pineapple juice that I think we would be on to something I do not have pineapple juice down here right now, but yeah, that would be, uh, I think you'd be on to something. So, Malibu rum, uh, the XO, and uh, pineapple juice. And uh, just for the record, um, I will not be leaving this house <laughs> this evening. Uh, with any firearms, I will ask Christine if she would like to um, would like me to grab her something out of the uh, collection. Um, I know that she uh, now she doesn't like it enough that she would want it as a carry gun, but she does nihap she she does like the little Taurus. I need to actually I don't know if she's ever shot the little Taurus, um, the Beretta. Um, she does not like the Beretta because it's basically like a little tiny Glock and it doesn't have a safety. After all, she is a fan of the safety and the Taurus has the safety. So I will probably, I will probably do like I normally do. I will, uh, um, I will grab the, uh, the Taurus, uh, this evening. Um, I loaded mag not one in the tube she's able to uh, she's able to rack the slide on that uh, she does not want to have a live one in it even with even if it has the safety the only way I trust it when she puts this shit in her purse is I usually bring the holster and put it in the holster uh, if the safety is gonna be on with a live <coughs> excuse me with a live round but if the gun is just going to be in her purse, it won't have a, it will not have a, a live round in it. But she's always happy to be in charge of security, which is exactly, why are you making so much noise over here? I don't, I don't, I used, I had it on the shelf in there, first of all, or not, on the counter in there. And I've got enough problems with me and counters. Oh, speaking of that. This needs to go with me to Jeremy's. My question is, Jeremy, are we going to trade something for this, if you know what I mean? Asking for a friend. Uh, this needs to go with and there's 75 rounds in here not exactly sure how I feel about that unless we go properly test it <laughs> maybe we won't even have the time if we're doing things right we won't even have the time By the way, Jeremy, if you want to write this shit down, Christine thinks your time goal is um, almost crack-worthy. Um, 
she goes, you know how everything construction works? Every time you tell me it's going to be a week, you're there for three. Like, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure I could just go down and, and I mean, I go down and stay down for a couple weeks straight. Turns out that it actually, Jeremy, it actually took three days. And I was gone for nine Of course, what am I going to do all by myself in Fairmont, Minnesota, while you and Caitlin are at work? <laughs> oh, Jeremy gets the good stuff. <sighs> Text Jeremy at 8 a.m. drinking his fucking Bloody Mary. Got Jeremy's zing zang in one hand and his his vodka in the other. Then there'd be a nine o'clock update and a ten o'clock update, and the don't wake me. Wow, those are in the U.S. and Holland. J Dog is here at work. Oh God, a smile money says Matt's YouTube channel. That would be very entertaining. Smile money. Matt, you can generally afford a home uh, for between 180 and 250,000, perhaps nearly 300,000 on a 50k salary. But your specific home buying budget will depend on your credit score, debt to income ratio, down payment size, January 25th, 2024. So I'm assuming you have not been saving money for a down payment. If you pay child support and have a large truck payment, that that works against you. Interest rates are north of eight percent when you bought when I bought my house. Um, my house was my house was uh, one hundred and twenty-two thousand. My wife and I made combined probably sixty thousand in nineteen ninety-one. So not sure it was much better. Actually, we got really lucky. Uh, this house was $125,000 when we purchased it. And we had a 1% uh, one interest rate on our loan for one year. And after one year, it went to, or maybe it was one and a quarter. I think it was... Drop your balls. I think it was one and a quarter. One and a quarter for one year, and after one year, it jumped to the uh, the, the the rate of uh, two and a quarter. So we got we got we got real lucky. I mean, let's just put it this way: if if I did something stupid, like say quitting my job, um. And, and we lost this house, I am paying, at a bare minimum, I am paying a thousand dollars a month less than what it would cost me to rent a shit fuck hole apartment in Duluth. Now you want to talk about a nice place? Oh look, it's the Biden administration. Oh. Watching season four premiere of Build Back Better. <laughs> Only a retard liberal would uh, would possibly vote for or Biden. I mean, if there's if there's anybody right now, you are the most as a uh, as our as our as our man in California would say. Um, you are completely uneducated. Oof. McLean, I want to see Matt's forearms, please. Sharky says, Horn Dog. McLean, 
43 minutes. I like this angle. I feel like I'm getting Matt a uh, huge... Getting Matt... Uh, getting... I'm giving Matt a hug from behind. I don't even know if I even want to look. So, Sharky, is this the picture or was it the other one of her that you said looks CGI? Because I'm here to tell you. So, you just see uh, Matt's uh, ear hole. Oh, God, followed up by Ellie. Mm. Uh, McCline Zigzag makes a Michelada. Matt. McCline, this show goes into the vault. McCline, Matt is... Matt is TT Night Night. Uh, McCline, I love you, Matt. McCline, Matt, not if I come visit. It's when I will give you two month notice so that you may train. Oh, God. You know what I'm thinking now? thinking I had this uh, nice piece of uh, of matte material not that McLean uh, that Christine told me just to throw away and if I would have kept it I could have put it as a uh, shock absorber between I, I still got shit so settle down but that would have just been like perfect because it's like the exact same size as the top of the, uh, the, the little oven Matt Davis ENJ is tasty. It, yeah, it's, uh, I can't, I hate brandy. Brandy is the nastiest shit, and yet that, that is, as Matt says, this is definitely whiskey. Matt Davis says D9. Mother Matt D9 D9 is a hit I like her breasticles Matt Davis Happy birthday Ebomi Thank you <laughs> Peach, cherry, and a mushroom. Tom says Michelob Matt in the house. I'd like to Netflix and chill. Mr. 27 says 50 second. Then he says hi brew Matt. Then Jolson says we don't need any cowbell. Then he says, I'd go with uh, smelting, but only available on the weekends. I'd go with for smelting, but he's only available on the weekends. Yeah. Aging chaos. Okay, I just said that my rule was for mixing beer. I didn't say that you had to do it. I take no responsibilities for what comes after... Tell Matt I never said I like Jameson. I just, I'm just not a pussy. I, I will let him know for you. Uh, Agent Chaos, the Jameson Stout is good, yes. Tell Matt if he's wanting to grow his plant outside, his biggest worry is going to be bugs and animals eating it. Little catnip. Uh, smile money. Minnesota. What's allowed if a person wants to grow cannabis at home? Up to eight cannabis plants with no more than four being mature. Flower. 
flowering plants may be grown at a single residence as long as it's at a primary residence of someone 21 or older. Plants must be in an enclosed locked space that is not open for public view. I don't know if you're helping or encouraging right now, Smile Money. <laughs> Sharky, cheers all. Hey, Matt, didn't shoot that, but I have a feeling today I won't be spending or, uh, spreading comments over two videos. Enjoy the book. Oh, as, a, as another matter of fact, that was Smile Money's last comment before the club. And the beautiful part about having Matt here is he leaves me the fuck alone. My balls are going to drop again. Didn't, didn't this just... Oh, yeah. Didn't, didn't this just happen? That's how fast this little thing is. Now it rakes and dumps. Now the ice is blocking the sensor so it won't make any more noise. Sorry. Sharky, what? A new grill and no pictures? Come on, man. You've seen it. It's the same one that Matt has. And I don't have it yet. I'd have, to, I'd have to send you, like, a picture from Walmart. It's supposed to be delivered tomorrow, and I'm not putting it together right away. I'm still getting some fire out of ours. I mean, if I could pick up a few parts and fix it myself, I might be able to get a little bit more life out of mine. It just sucks because if I cleaned up the, if I got some degreaser and a little elbow grease, I can make the outside of my grill look brand new, except for the part where uh, I said, go ahead and use my grill. I wasn't around. I didn't. They could have melted fucking steel inside of it. The flames were so hot that the plaque on the top cover fell off because the whatever was holding it through, what, six years of use and it never happened? But have a little uh, grease fire inside there and you can kiss all that shit goodbye. If... If I, uh, if I drilled and mounted some uh, angle bracket on the back for uh, some uh, burners, I might even be able to use the burners that are there. I don't know. Um, uh, uh, either way, we have a backup. And the price was, I mean, this thing was considerably less than what Matt paid for it. So, you know, it's weird is I think Matt bought his before the greatest economy ever. So, this is this is an example of the greatest economy. Um, get something for over a hundred and something dollars less? Shit. Matt, I don't remember what Matt said he paid for his. This is, yes, just MILF all the way. I mean, Um, it might have been a hundred and fifty dollars less than he paid for it, and it's a uh, it's a, a decent sized grill on one side, and it's a uh, a big uh, griddle on the other, uh, both controlled independently of each other. And I know he uses his all the time, and it's still in fantastic shape, but he also does keep it in the garage or covered, covered. I, again, I will reiterate, I did see um, a YouTube uh, channel that does a lot of shit, and one of the things that they tested is a barbecue grill covered versus not covered, and they both died at the same rate. Rust. Especially, welcome to Minnesota! Uh, but now, putting it in the 
garage, or if I did the, somewhat the same thing as what Matt does, keep it in the garage, wheel it outside so that I, actually I guess I don't care if I fill my garage with smoke. It'd probably be the best thing that happened to it. Yes, I just, I would personally start with the, uh, the blonde and end with the blonde. Um, if I kept it in the garage, of course the downside is, and unless I did it this way, I would always be in the way of uh, being able to get Vivian out, and um, I don't know. I, I now I don't feel bad. I mean, we got our money's worth out of ours. This is the. It's because uh, because of so many of the burners uh, where they're held at the back of the grill, the little bracket that there is rust, rusted out, and the burner fell. Some of them are still actually working even though they're not where they're supposed to be. The problem is, is instead of being great and the burner being right here and now the burner's down here, it's, uh, yes, my girl, um, it doesn't cook as well as it used to. Um, but, uh, I just, it's... I mean, it's got a side burner that's in perfect shape and still working. The other side, it has a, a sear oven. Uh, if you want to sear a steak and then move it to the main oven, that works great yet. I, I have a brand new rotisserie attachment for it that's never, ever been on it. It's a great big long, looks like some kind of medieval uh, weapon, and it has a motor assembly. It slides into the motor assembly and, and just slides down onto a bracket on the grill itself. And that is spotless because it's never ever been used if you want to, say, put a uh, chicken or something like that on it. And uh, I like to show her Captain Hook. Uh, so, I don't know, I just, I hate to abandon the one that we have, but we're about to have two. But even if this one doesn't get unpackaged and assembled right away, it's, it was a fan, it was a fantastic deal. It was, um, 200 and, I don't remember what it ended up being, like 250 or 270. And, I mean... I'm talking about a, a decent size grill and and a griddle. I mean, like I said, uh, my references, uh, check with Matt uh, what he thinks because he literally uses it uh, every day. Sharky, 1750. Now, that's my kind of ice fishing. Uh, I... I already know what this one is without even having to look. And I walk right in the fucking way. Hang on. Let me get out of the way. Dun, dun, dun. Right now my... Oh, and I don't get out of the way. Well, that's bullshit. Um, it, it needs to be like... Uh, You, you give a shitty time stamp. I literally walk. Like, here, whatever. This is like 1750 and one one hundredths of a second. And I'm already, uh, I'm already blocking her. Let me see if I can back up without. See, it's so touchy. Uh -huh. It's really not worth it. No. It's not. It's okay. Fuck it. I'm not. No. No. Fuck it. This is ice fishing. I'm okay with this. Titties and beer. Titties and beer. Sharky. Delta 10. D10. Is a misdemeanor. <laughs> oh, God. Uh. Uh, Sharky, 38 minutes. Back in the day, they carried five with the hammer on an empty chamber. Today's single-action revolvers have transfer bars and stuff. You might die if you cock it and then uh, drop test it. That's like uh, Three Stooges moment there, Matt.
Sharky SH, wow, an old school brew babe made it as the outro. Yes, Sharky. Perfect little padding going on there in the puffy zone. Hmm. Okay, where, oh where, do I put... Oh my god! Almost died right there. Well, we don't want this to go to waste. Where do I put Zing Zang Michelada mix? Well, I'll put it this way. It doesn't have uh, 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 vinegar uh, flavors to it. Water, tomato paste, lime juice, concentrate, Worcester sauce, distilled distilled vinegar is, well, very high on the list, though. Molasses, sugar, water, salt, onion, garlic, tomato, extract, natural flavor, seasoning, salt, uh, hydrated vegetable, protein, corn, soy, wheat, sugar, uh, modified food starch, uh, monosodium glutinate, ooh onion powder so it's worse for me so the the lava is uh, it uh, I'm gonna live a little bit longer even though yeast extract spice uh, uh, sodium um, and of course there's like right on the seam ins insonate and glylinate spice extract celery salt, uh, salt spice, sea salt, uh, lemon juice concentrate, natural flavors, sodium, benzate, preservative, another bad thing. Christine would never touch this shit. shit. Potassium, soy bait, preservatives, um, pepper sauce, distilled vinegar, another one on there, aged cayenne, uh, peppers, salt, Sounds like Jordan's got his shit running. Uh, xanthan gum, garlic uh, powder, chili powder, pe chili pepper, spices, salt, uh, garlic powder, and uh, then it says contains soy wheat. So, um, lava, if you're listening, um, your shit would get the uh, the thumbs up from Christine. This would get the thumbs down from Christine uh, for uh, if she would do it. She no, she she wouldn't touch this because of the uh, uh, the chemicals in it. I mean, again, that's it's it's entirely her her right. Um, I like I, I I like the fact that this doesn't have a. Uh, uh, a vinegar, a vinegar flavor to it. Even though I think it had it it had vinegar on the list, even higher than uh, than the lava Michelada. So, of course, as soon as I start thinking about it, don't think about Batman's penis bulge. And what's the first thing you think of? Baseball. Fuck. Uh, overall, um, again, these are all uh, Michelada mixes. And this is like something entirely new to me. The, uh, the Bud, uh, the Bud um, Light and Budweiser Chilada. Uh, that is a completely different flavor. It's also, I believe, like a Clemetto uh, style. So, pussy, vinegar, vinegar, pussy. You know what? You have to decide. Decide. Um, I like the way that this. I like the way that this tastes. And again, uh, one part to uh, three uh, or more of uh, beer, giving it that. Um, on the um, um, non-Bloody Mary, non-East scale mm, thing, I would, uh, I would, I would give, I would give this an eight and a half. I think I gave the other one an eight. 
Uh, I like the flavors in it. I didn't like the vinegar part. If I went... Oh, mm, writing bad checks. Um, packing my bags. Leaving with her. I know. I know. I'm shallow. Um, yeah, it's... They're close. Um, I like the flavors on the lava. I like the non-vinegar, heavy vinegar. Now that I'm thinking vinegar, I'm tasting vinegar. I just, I'm just, I guess I'm just not a fan of fucking vinegar. Jolson, too hard to Sunny Slopes Club needs more cowbell. Oh my god, Jolson, you are so frustrating. Call bell haters. Three, two, one. I dedicate this to you, Jolson. Oh, oh, hang on. I know Jolson is not the guy that likes a, a bunch of uh, press, but a big congratulations, Jolson. Jolson is engaged. That poor woman. I, n I never had the opportunity, which I probably would have had him or helped him hide the body, but hit the future Miss Jolson, Teresa, is such a wonderful person. Again, I, I don't know what the fuck she sees in him. But, Jolson... Yeah, we'll, we'll see who makes it this far. Um, Jolson, congratulations. I am so happy for you because I know, like most of us, how, what a miserable, useless cunt the previous one was. I mean, I hate to sound like I'm just uh, making making up shit or sticking with one side, uh, a member of my family, Jolson, but when you, if, if you knew the sweetheart deal that his ex-wife had and yet still dropped the fucking ball, she deserves, she deserves whatever happens. She doesn't deserve Jolson. Teresa... She is a beautiful person. And the two of them are so cute together. Congratulations, Jolson. I am so pr uh, so proud and happy for the two of you. And those titties. Yeah, she's got a lot of baggage. Gotta get to the farm. Hell, I should stop over and for a couple days of shooting. Tell Jeremy I'll be there on Wednesday. I mean, the world's ending on Tuesday, so why even... I mean, Monday, sorry. World is ending on Monday. I don't even know why we even bother. I mean, uh, the universe is going to open up. Uh, and uh, evil is going to come forth into our reality through the uh, CERN um, uh, super collider. It's all. I'm sorry, kids. It's all over. If you have any plans for uh, Tuesday, I just cancel them. It's not going to happen. Hell, as a matter of fact, I'm going to get down to Jeremy's, and as soon as they take off and go to work, I'm just going to fucking drink until the world ends. Speaking of that, Jeremy's right. See, Jeremy's looking out for you guys. Um, this should probably go with me, and that should probably go with me, because I can edit videos on that, and the file that is created by this is much more manageable than the file created by this. I mean, after all, I mean, you, I know, I know, I know, I know McCline's 
brain would cease to exist if he found out that um, Saturdays uh, oh excuse me Saturdays brew review is the last one for a week oof Salty double birthday nakedness thank you Salty Bad, howdy clubbers, welcome to Thursday. Can we get a... Macho Biden! Macho Biden! Macho Biden! That woman's got to have back problems. I'll give you two. Macho oh. Biden! Oh, God, yeah. Macho Biden! See? Macho Biden! Her fucking tits are so heavy, she's stuck to the floor. Poco says G5. G oh good good job you're actually calling one that hasn't been called G five is a miss. Uh, Rich says cheers clubbers. Uh, then Rich says and happy birthday. Thank you, Rich. Ah, uh, this isn't the first I've heard from Rich. Uh, he was he was amongst uh, some of the early birds. Uh, actually, I think. Rich, I think I was sitting up uh, waiting for uh, Sam to come uh, back from her uh, eye appointment. Bad, you getting liquored up for that uh, ribeye steak tonight? Unfortunately, um, um, we're going to, as you would have heard yesterday, uh, we're going to Grandma's for dinner tonight, and they do not offer a good steak anymore. I don't think they have a ribeye. I know they have something called Steak Bites, which is just a skewer with chunks of steak on it, and no, no. I wish, I wish. I wish I could. If uh, Matt would have uh, pulled his strength and we would have got, see, I'm not racist, and we would have uh, gone to, like, say, uh, Texas Roadhouse, I would have, I would have felt guilty about it, though. Even though the prices are pretty good at Texas Roadhouse. Their, their ribeye is really exceptional. Yeah, um, probably, probably not. I'm, uh, bad. I'm probably going to isolate my, uh, my guilt, uh, for, uh, uh, spending, um, Dave and Bunky's money on, um, alcohol. Uh, one of the things that they have there is called the Prairie Mary. Uh, as long as they leave the fucking herring off of the goddamn thing, um, I like those. Uh, the, my old guy, Jason, he used to come over and set that down in front of me with a glass filled of, with green olives because he knew that his tip was entirely based on the green olives. I don't know if I've ever... Yes. I don't know if I've, I don't even care if she even has it. I mean, we can play librarian, right, Kev Dog? Um, I don't know if I've ever had their regular Bloody Mary. I don't know what it's made with. I might just have that tonight. Usually it's one Bloody Mary and then a couple of 22-ounce uh, uh, Castle Danger Cream Ales. And then a glass of water or a bowl of French onion shit soup. You know, last in is Smile Money saying, Cheers, Clubbers, Matt, you fucking imbecile. Cat, I might have made up some of that stuff right there. And lights green. Traps clean. Okay, yeah, God, I, I almost need to sit down and put together a checklist. Down here, um, the camera. I don't know how good these batteries are, so probably the camera, the power supply. Um, I'll just have to learn to live without having the big monitor sitting right here. And you guys are fucked for, for, for sexy girls, for however many days I'm down at uh, Jeremy and Caitlin's. Um, but so that camera, the power supply, the power supply, and uh, that laptop. And again, because 
I should have never, it's got the battery in it, I should have never done that. That's, that's what kills them. As soon as I turn it off, it tries to charge and it's probably destroyed the battery. Actually, I think I've done this before. I've uh, disconnected the power to see how long uh, the battery would last. Yeah, I just bring the power supply with. Uh, I realize that uh, by today's standards, the amount of money that you can uh, spend on a uh, on a laptop is actually in a lot of ways. The amount of money I spend for this, uh, you could get like a really really high end system these days, Alienware or something like this, or something like that. Uh, this is the uh, Asus uh, Gaming Edition. Uh, this thing was absolutely a beast before I sent it to uh, Computer Computer Dan, and uh, it's running on. Uh, yes, there she is. Um, the original drive is in the auxiliary bay, and uh, the main drive is a sol uh, uh, 500, 500 gigabyte uh, solid state drive. And, um, I, uh, Dan, Dan was really impressed with this thing. You press the power button, and it's something like seven seconds until it's up and uh, available to, like, say, go out online with it. My, my upstairs system, which was a beast when it was built, isn't even capable of that. But he thinks it's because the upstairs system has uh, four traditional uh, drives, you know, that spin up, uh, versus the uh, solid state drive that it uh, the C drive runs off of. Because it, my upstairs one, every time you save something, it goes to two locations, and in case something bad happens, it has the backup drives. I don't know how to get to them, but I know that they're there constantly backing shit up. Um, okay, um, hit the button one more time, in case, like, fucking Sharky shows up. Okay. Um, tomorrow's Friday, uh, yes, I will mostly be spending, um, uh, well, again, no locked and loaded tomorrow. I will mostly, damn, look at, look at that ass, mostly be sp spending tomorrow probably, uh, uh, working on a list and putting together, uh, uh, piles of stuff. I need to, uh, prepare the car for tools, which... It's going to kind of suck I, if I have to lay down a, a blankie or a shipping blanket, I, I will. Um, but, yeah, start uh, getting stuff uh, ready and put in the car. Uh, thanks to the fact that Jeremy has a lot of shit. I don't have a shit ton of tools that have to go, but I still have, you know, taping tools, hand tools, all of my cordless shit, a pass load maybe a chop saw. I don't know if he ever got back to me on if I need one of those or not. Um, my Senko, uh, my Senko, um, drywall, uh, drill, uh, collated drywall, uh, and, uh, a, a, a box of, uh, some, uh, some screws for it. Oh, my orbital my you know Greg in case you're watching my my six inch uh, Makita orbital sander and of course uh, number one tool that will be going is Alice along with uh, you guys I mean unless if we're working late or something I am not gonna be able to get that done but um, Plan on doing a few brewery views on location from Fairmont, Minnesota. Minnesota. Okay. Um, yeah. If, uh, I would. Uh, I would not get this again. I mean, I'm sorry, you guys from uh, Zing Zang and uh, you guys from uh, Lava watching. 
Um, I guess I, uh, it turns out that I'm just not a Michelada fan. Um, I just simply add, uh, some of my favorite Bloody Mary mixes, uh, to the beer and get the same outcome. I don't, I don't know. So, otherwise, I will see you tomorrow. My water just broke. <laughs>